On this episode, we welcome another staffing company, Travel Nurse Staffing. They do everything. Century Health Staffing Services is here. We're going to talk to them. We're going to specifically talk about California jobs, so you're not going to want to miss it. Atlas Hall Access starts now. <laughs> All right, Lisa Soto. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm in Omaha. Welcome to Omaha. <laughs> I now I know you've here. been here before. Yes. So and and for for the record, we just met in person this year at Travcon. Yes. But we've talked for a couple of years. A long time. Yes. A long, long time. So I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you. With us, and then Lori Jones. Yes. You are you're out of California correct. as well, correct? Uh -huh. yeah. And then Sarah Reagan. Mm -hmm. You work remote in. Texas. Texas, right outside of Fort Worth. Perfect. Couldn't tell by your accent at all. Nope. <laughs> not, not one bit. So, all right, so we'll get into that. But I want, first, I want you to tell me, tell me about Century because, I mean, okay. I know, but, you know, I tell everybody else. Sure. Century was formed by a former travel nurse. Her name was Lydia Akumu. She actually was born and raised in Kenya, moved to Kansas when she was 19 on her own and attended nursing school at Washburn University. Um, when she came out, she graduated with her BSN and she went staff at a local hospital as a CVICU nurse. She worked there for a couple of years and when the nursing industry was a big boom in the mid 2000s, mm -hmm. when they were offering crazy bonuses, like oh, yeah. $30,000 sign-on bonuses, mm -hmm. um, she moved to Bakersfield, California to work at the Bakersfield Heart Hospital. Okay. Um, while there, she was doing some per diem and some travel work with one of our competing agencies. And she realized that there was such a need for agencies that actually cared about the nurses and knew what the nurses, what their obstacles were going in to the hospitals as a traveler. Mm -hmm. So she decided to start her own PRN company, which was just focused on staffing a few hospitals in Bakersfield. And uh, she left Bakersfield Heart Hospital and then just started working full time as a PRN nurse seven days a week. Mm -hmm to be able to make payroll until she grew the company enough to be able to go through all the funding and that type of stuff. So I always say it was formed on blood, sweat, and tears because it's it's true. She sure. had a newborn at home and she was working seven days a week. She brought her mom in from Kenya to care for the baby while she was working. And she just built this legacy, which we call Lydia's legacy. Um, I walked into uh, Century in 2010 coming from the bigger aspect of the industry and told her what we could do. She was unaware of you know, the areas we could go and what the need was out there. So mm -hmm. together we just expanded and now we staff nationwide. Um, she unfortunately passed uh, May 30th of this year with a glioblastoma, which she was diagnosed almost a year to the date before she passed. Wow. So we feel her void, but it just makes us work harder to be able to carry on her legacy because it's a one owner company. Mm -hmm. Um, her brother stepped in, who is also, he a, has a master's and a business, and he has his BSN also. So he's our director of nursing and the president, still working in hospitals as needed, so has that hands-on. Um, so together, we're just making sure that her legacy continues so that her family's taken care of. And we started a nonprofit foundation called Lydia's Legacy that we're going to focus on giving back to nursing students so that they don't have to drop out of school whether it's paying rent or paying their car payment or buying school books, things like that, that is mm -hmm. going to help them through school so that they can finish their journey. That is really cool. Thank and you. so then what what areas do you staff? You do you do travel nursing, obviously. We do travel. We do per diem. We mm -hmm. started with per diem, which was our big thing. So that's kind of our, that's our expertise. Mm -hmm. um, in Bakersfield, it was a huge, huge calling for per diem. Almost every hospital was using it. Over the past, I would say, five years, we've seen the trend kind of slow down a little bit, okay. um, which we try to educate the hospitals that they're really, it's the best choice to use a PRN on top of travel with the fluctu fluctuations in census. Mm -hmm. With the PRN, there's no obligation. They don't have to keep a nurse for 13 weeks. They don't have to pay them out if they have to cancel early and with the PRN it works for the nurses if they're full-time staff at another hospital they can go work their other hospital a couple days a month couple days a week whatever works for them mm -hmm. and it kind of gets them out of that same re repetitive 
thing that they're mm -hmm. in if they're a staff nurse. It could help with burnout. It could mm -hmm. help with, you know, it gets just them out. Just extra money, yep. um, just changes and seeing different, you know, charting systems, different flows, mm -hmm. that type of stuff. So um, it was really, really big in California, but we have seen it slow down a little bit. We're hoping that they'll start bringing it back because it's very beneficial to them and to the nurses. Awesome. So, Lori, you worked for a hospital before you came to Century, right? Correct. So how long how long have you been with Century then? Um, I'd be four years at the end of the year. Right. So next month will be four years. And so in. what were you with previous to that? Then? I was with Dignity Health. Okay. Um, and I worked with them as their account uh, recruiting, um, as director of recruiting, and then also overseas staffing and registry. I started with staffing and registry and then went into the recruiting side, um, HR side of it all. But it was great. I so compare, compared to that to what you're doing now, like, how has that changed over the past four years? It's completely changed. Um, everyone always back in the hospital setting is FTE based. Um, only you can only bring in a traveler for you know medical leave, things of that nature. Now they're mm -hmm. noticing with the increase in the change in healthcare, mm -hmm. increase in volume and staffing. No longer you have to reach out for travelers a little bit more often than just your leave, just to fill up the space, to fill up the void, because the census is just keeps rising and healthcare changes. So there was a lot of different changes with that. Um, I'm able to see both sides I know what the account managers doing when they call me where's your ER profiles I posted this need I know that, that means the manager the CNE director has been pounding on them I'm like been in your seat I yeah. know what's going on I know the feeling let me try to get someone and so um, when can they start I know we have to get compliance so the whole pressure from the manager because when they do the interview you know oh you can start next week but you know the real story is they got to wait another day or two before they can start right so. and, and you, you completely understand that because now you've worked both sides right and, absolutely now I know what it came from in the interview and you come back and I'm like the agency's like no Lori I'm like I know come on let him go <laughs> she understands how we can battle on the agency side especially mm -hmm. being we're healthcare based uh, meaning almost everybody in our office has healthcare background mm -hmm. so we actually know what the great thing is is I've been on the travel end of it for 17 years and Lori was on the opposite end and we worked together oh yeah, so when she other. left dignity I was able to bring her in. I said, Lori, you've got to come in on this side. So when she first started getting in, I was like, now you know why I was calling you and asking you why this nurse wasn't approved. And, and so she's like, now I understand why you are hounding me. <laughs> so it's been a real, it's, she's been such an asset because she still has the hospitals calling her, asking her how they should handle sure. certain situations mm -hmm. on that end. And so she's been able to guide them with that. There's, there's an insider piece there that, that mm -hmm. a lot of nurses maybe haven't they don't see every day, right? right? It's that it's that it's those conversations that we have with with the facility right. or you know with the MSP or, or whatever mm -hmm. that Correct. It, you would think it would be very cut and dried, mm -hmm. and it's it's not. And sometimes it's, we have to educate them, yeah. Because a lot of times on the other end they have people that are non clinical, so mm -hmm. when we send a profile and they ask for PACU and we send somebody that's got a few years of ICU, that. They're more than qualified to work PACU. Right. So those types of things. And you can take a CV nurse and you can put them in cath lab. Mm -hmm. When they're just the administrative part, they don't understand how some of those can cross mm -hmm. over. So it's up to agencies like us to be able to fight for the nurse and explain, go, look, yeah, she's been working in ICU for two mm -hmm. years, but PACU's just recovery. It's the same thing in ICU. Mm -hmm. You're going to recover patients. Well, look at the supporting documentation that you mm -hmm. send along with it, too. I mean, right. there are skills checklists. checklists. Yeah. I'm right. sure they that... They pass the tests and everything. Exactly. Yeah. But, like, and no offense to the, the hospital right. side, right? I mean, there's mm -hmm. you're, you've are you got just as much to do as we do, right? Right. So you're, you were going through those just as fast as you possibly could, and you see, hey, this, is a, this isn't a PACU profile. Right. This is an ICU profile. Next. Right. right. Wait a minute. That's not... You know, take a closer look at this one because that might be the nurse that's really going to make an impact in your hospital. Right. And a lot of the things is we like to try to push for them to get it to the managers because the unit, new, unit managers know mm -hmm. what's going to work on their unit. Mm -hmm. Once they have that conversation with the nurse, they're going to know whether or not they're a good fit. Right. Somebody that has no clinical skills by looking at just a resume, we know. I know if I were to put anything on a resume myself, wouldn't be the same of what I can actually do. Correct. So mm -hmm. that's what we advocate for. Yeah. Now, Sarah, you came from the clinical side, right? Yes. So talk about that a little bit. Like, how did you get connected with these two and, and with Century? Mm -hmm. And you haven't been in very long, correct? No, I'm, I'm a newbie. So I have a little over a year. I used to do intraoperative neuromonitoring mm -hmm. for spine surgeons and device sales. I met Lisa when TravCon was in New Orleans. My husband Actually, and I. Actually, was Spring Fling. Yeah, Spring oh. Gypsy's Spring, spring, spring Fling. Fling. So my husband and I were there for our anniversary. Mm -hmm. Being from Louisiana, we went down. I ran into her. We started talking. I had no idea what even went into recruiting and 
what you guys have just talked about. Um, she said they were going to expand Century and she would want to talk to me further later on down the road. And I just kind of was like, oh, okay. And then a year or so later, she called and she's like, so you ready to have that conversation? <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> so it's been a crash course. I'm the crash test dummy. Yes. Yeah. But she's kind of done a little bit of everything. So whenever we bring in something new, she's very good with the technology part. So, you know, mm -hmm. we implemented a new database converting from our old one to our new one. Mm -hmm. So she's taken the lead on that. Awesome. Been very, very helpful with that. So it's been wonderful. Interesting. So, yeah. Crash course. It's been good. <laughs> one year in. <laughs> one year in. Just, just get in there and do it. Well, Gold you know, star. there's no real yeah. textbook way to learn no. this end of it. No. It's you just kind of have to get in there and feel your way and do it based on your personality and how you mm -hmm. want to treat the nurses and you're going to make mistakes right i mean right. That's, yep. we all have yes. a, a, on both sides right there's exactly. going to there's, but you've just got to you you're still dealing with people in the end and people understand mm -hmm. as long as you can get to that and you can show them look i screwed this one up right something yeah. something didn't happen here the way right. it was supposed exactly. to happen exactly right. take ownership of it correct Absolutely. it and learn from it make sure it doesn't happen again yeah. but we are humans yep. we're still humans processing payroll we're still humans processing mm -hmm. compliance sometimes you get overwhelmed sometimes things get overlooked yep. but make it right for the nurse take care of them and uh, let them know that this was not done intentionally and this is what we're going to do to make it better yeah so Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, that, well, that's, that's it. Huge. Yeah, we've had this conversation yes. multiple times. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then, so wrapping up, last question: Why are you here? Why are you in Omaha? Well, we're here to do um, Omaha is the Grand Central Station of this industry. Yes, it is. Anybody who's anybody <laughs> is in Omaha. I've been saying that for a long time now. <laughs> you, can, you can have Boca Raton in San Diego. Yes, it happens here. It it, ha it does happen here. And uh, so we're here to actually just uh, to show them how they've never been here, cool. um, to show them kind of how the industry works. We're kind of secluded where we're at. It's not a big thing in California. Mm -hmm. um, so I really want them to see how things really function on this end of it. Cool. So we are meeting with Metaphys tomorrow so that uh, Sarah's the account manager for Metaphys so she can meet them face to face and understand their procedures and how they follow through with everything. And then Lori's the account manager for Medical Solutions, so we're gonna meet with them also. And of course, we have to come see Atlas when we're here. I mean, you guys are our friends in this industry. Uh, <laughs> for the record, you came here first. Yes, so. our first stop. But, you know, it just proves that um, this industry doesn't have to be as competitive as some people make it. Mm -hmm. We can be friends and learn from each other and support each other and encourage each other because at the end of the day, it's about making sure the nurses are taken care of and making sure that they're working and getting what they need. Right. So Atlas has always been a good friend to us. We're a big supporter. And, um, you know, I come to you for so many things. I, well, and, <laughs> and likewise, too. I mean, we have we have always supported you guys and, and, and your mission, especially with I was I was very sad to hear of Lydia's passing. Yes. It was you know, it was I, I knew that hit you really hard. It did. It and, did. and so I yeah, we've. We've had multiple, multiple conversations, yeah. but in, in, you're right, and it's it, we can we can compete. I love to compete oh, yeah. just as much as anybody else. <laughs> yes. right? but it, it it we still have that same end goal. Right, right, right. And and we know when to say when, and we know when to. Right. You know, this is the best for the nurse. Exactly. And, and if it makes a better industry, that's yes. one of my main goals is I think that there's so much improvements that need to be made in this industry. Yep. And it takes companies like ours in Atlas mm -hmm. that actually cares about the nurses and is there to fight for them. Mm -hmm. um, so many agencies just put them out there and then they're just kind of a sink and swim. Get out there, sink or swim mm -hmm. and call me when you're ready for your next one. Sure. So it's important that we learn from each other and work together. Yeah, I love Great. it. Well, thank, thank you, you. Lisa. Yeah. Lori, Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank Enjoy you. your time in Omaha. It's yeah, going to rain at least today. <laughs> right. It'll be like 90 tomorrow, so yeah, don't worry about it. It'll be, <laughs> you'll be fine. But enjoy your time in Omaha. Have fun. And uh, anytime, anytime you're back, please stop by. Thank you so much. Thank All you right. for having us. We'll do. We'll see you next week.